Mother, are you sure you're not up to coming by for Christmas tomorrow? I know Freddy would love to see you. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> well, if you feel any better, do let me know. Yes, I'm sure it must be unpleasant to have a cold at Christmas. No, I don't think Jesus hates you. Yes, he does. Yeah. I'll call you tomorrow, dear. I don't know how we'll celebrate without you. I can't believe your mother lives to see another Christmas. Even God doesn't want to spend time with her. We should stop by and take a bit of turkey tomorrow. Oh, no, yes, you're yeah. right. It is Christmas after yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Violet. Oh, hang on. Give me a chance to get back up the stairs. I'm not in the mood to hear one of her long stories. Hello, Stuart, uh -huh. darling. Oh, Freddy. Oh. I'm glad I caught you. I've got some news. Uh -huh. Oh, have you? <laughs> I'm so glad I wasn't already completely upstairs before Stuart opened the door. If I have to hear it, you have to hear it. Can I get a cup of tea, darling? I just sat down. I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> well, all right. Well, you know how I recently got my licence as a massage therapist? <laughs> No, we did not know that, but in the interest of brevity, let's assume we did. <laughs> and, well, I suppose I did the one thing with a client that you're not supposed to do as a masseuse. Well, that's all right, Violet. I'm sure he enjoyed it. I fell in love with him. In only 50 minutes? No, of course not. It was an 80-minute massage. <laughs> Give me some credit. But what can you possibly know about this man, Violet? I can't explain it, Stuart. We just clicked. He accepts me for who I am, and I accept him for all his weight issues. And is he very gigantic, Violet? Well, he's not small. And I was so hoping to be able to bring him to dinner tomorrow. Oh, 80s Christmas. Marvellous. I'll bring an extra turkey. And his special chair. <laughs> Hello, Ash! Hi. Hello, Ash. Come in. Violet was just telling us about her new boyfriend. How much bigger than Ash would he be? Ah, uh, he would be about 15 Ashes. <laughs> Congratulations, Violet. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> I have to say... I'm a little jealous. Really, Ash? Because if you're serious, just tell well, me. I'm now. joking, I'm joking. <laughs> you are joining us for Christmas tomorrow, Ash? Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Well, you remember how both my parents are in prison? Of course we do. Why don't we know anyone normal? <laughs> oh, well, I only ever had one real Christmas. It was right before my dad robbed Domino's Pizza and my mum ran over a boyfriend. <laughs> But it was great because we were all together. What magical childhood memories you have. Well, since then, you've kind of become my family and I wanted to say thank you somehow. So I was hoping you'd let me cook Christmas dinner tomorrow. Oh, that's not necessary, Ash. And anyway, I usually cook a special. Please, Stuart, it would mean a lot to me. Oh, let him do it. It couldn't be any worse than the war crimes you commit every year in that kitchen. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ash. You know that Mason and Penelope are also coming. And I'll be bringing my new boyfriend. Yes, yeah, so you should probably start cooking now. <laughs> and I should start preparing for my new role. You're working today. Oh, yes. <laughs> the actor's life. You know how it is. <laughs> well, actually, you don't know how. <laughs> because you're just all ordinary people. What's the part? Well, Ash, he's an older man under a tremendous amount of pressure at work. He can run the factory, but not his personal life. And consequently, he's a very tortured individual. He's playing Father Christmas at White Lewis. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Balthazar! <laughs> Don't you want the phone? Oh, look up! Come on! Wake up! 
Ricky. That's a good boy. Merry Christmas, Balthazar. Why is he all wet? <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> well, are you all right after last night? I don't want to talk about it. I told you to just play him like Father Christmas. Oh, what does that even mean, no. Stuart? He's a man. He's a three-dimensional person. I can't just play him like Father Christmas. I've got to play the truth. <laughs> yes, well, the truth is he's supposed to be jolly. Not suicidal. <laughs> He's under a lot of stress. He has to deliver a billion presents in one night. <laughs> it was a different interpretation. <laughs> if that crowd couldn't understand it, that's not my fault. They behaved like children. They were children! <laughs> I'm not going to have this discussion with you. You're not a creative person. Should we exchange our presents now? Yes, my present is I supported you for 49 years. What did you get me? <laughs> A burial plot. <laughs> I hope you get to use it soon. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, oh, Ash. Look at all this! You must have spent a fortune. I did. Well, we're not paying you back. <laughs> you offered. Are you sure you're all right doing all this? Yeah, my mum used to be a really good cook when she wasn't drunk, which was all the time. Why wasn't I enough for you, mum? <laughs> anyway, it's my pleasure. <laughs> oh, I'll go. Freddy, do you want to help me unpack the shopping? I don't, actually. <laughs> Hello. I'm hoping you can help me. I'm looking for the flat of Stuart Bixby and Freddie Thornhill. Do you happen to know where this address is? It's Stuart, Penelope. Of course. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Stuart. Merry Christmas, oh. Penelope. Oh. Well, come in. So then you don't know where this address is? <laughs> now, where's Mason? I thought he was coming with you. Is Mason a cat? <laughs> no, Mason is not a cat, dear. He's our friend. Uh, Remind me to check your prescriptions later. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Penelope. Oh, Merry Christmas, Freddy. Where should I put the presents? Under the tree, dear. And you say the tree is in this room? <laughs> oh, just give them oh. to me. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Penelope. Oh. Would you like something... Don't ask her any questions. <laughs> Just let her get settled in first. Well, where's Violet and her boyfriend? I hope she didn't get stuck in traffic. Or sat on. <laughs> <laughs> that must be the... Please, darling, let's not do this now. I'm sorry, Violet, but we have to. It sounds like they're having a very private discussion. I think we should respect that. Can't we keep till later? I'm afraid not. You see, I've met somebody else. Oh. Since breakfast? <laughs> I hope you understand. Of course. Would you mind putting that hamburger down so we can have a proper goodbye? <laughs> Everybody make a lot of noise. Merry Christmas, darling. Merry Christmas, darling. We almost didn't hear you. We are having so much fun. And the conversation was so loud, we couldn't hear anything else. <laughs> Is that Violet? I didn't even hear you come in. Did you hear her come in there? No, because we were all talking so loudly. Yes, we were all talking so loudly, we didn't hear a thing. <laughs> I don't care if you all know. I brought a cake, but he ate it in the taxi. <laughs> I'm sorry, if I. It's all right, darling. The important thing is we're all together. That's right. We're here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, darling. Could I maybe stay the night? No. <laughs> now, who would 
like a drink? I'd love a drink. <laughs> really? Because I don't smell anything cooking. Oh, right. <laughs> Ash offered to cook us all dinner and then wash everything up and also do our laundry for a week. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Well, I, I didn't really offer... <laughs> Happy to do it. <laughs> Oh, Freddie, I wish I could have seen you playing Father Christmas. The children must have adored you. <laughs> no, not really. The nuances of my performance went way over their heads. <laughs> I blamed the parents. I mean, what are they teaching these children? That Father Christmas just magically shows up and then delivers all these presents every year. Yes, he's Father Christmas. That's what he does. <laughs> How's the dinner coming on, Ash? Almost ready. <laughs> Should be just another three hours. Three hours? What the hell are you doing in there? I'm following my mum's recipe. And does it involve running over the turkey and then getting sent to prison? <laughs> because we want to eat today. I'm sorry it's taking so long. Oh, no, don't feel badly, Ash. It's just so lovely. You're doing all this for us. You take as long as you need. You really mean that? Yes, of course I do. Yeah, I have an idea. While we're waiting, why don't we all play a game? No, I don't want to play. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. No. Oh, where's your Christmas spirit? I said no. Oh, come on, Freddy. Leave me alone. Look. It's bad enough we have to wait for that little shit to finish God knows what he's doing in the kitchen. <laughs> so you're going to sit there and you're going to play a game because it's bloody Christmas! <laughs> I'm frightened. Well, I thought he said it was OK that it was taking so long. Yes, of course it is, dear. <laughs> well, I think a game is a fantastic idea. What about strip poker? Oh, no, thank you. There's not one body part in this room that ever needs to be seen in daylight again. Well, maybe one body part. I was talking about your penis. Was that clear? Yes. Good. Well, I was thinking about truth or dare. You can always learn something new about people playing truth or dare. I love truth or dare. We used to play it all the time when I was a kid. I saw my dad ended up robbing dominoes. I don't want to hear any more about your family today. Violet, why don't you go first? Oh, one second. Set. <laughs> Truth or dare? Dare. <laughs> I don't know what it is she wouldn't do. <laughs> Can I get back to you on this? <laughs> of course, darling. <laughs> Ash, would you like to go next? Sure. Truth or dare? Truth. Is there something burning in the kitchen? <laughs> Gosh, that's a bit of a weird question. <laughs> I don't know it. Too bad. I already had a dare picked out for him. <laughs> if I don't get to eat something soon, I'm going to kill somebody. But not really, though, right? <laughs> How's it going in there, Ash? Everything's under control now, thanks. OK, Balthazar, I have to take the turkey out of the oven in one minute. Uh, and the potatoes are a bit burned, but I think they're OK. You want to taste? You all right? What's the matter? Oh, God. Oh, no. Swallow. Swallow it. Is it too dry? Uh, water. I need water. Are you sure you're all right, uh, eh? Uh, yes, fine. Thank God. 
You scared me, you little piece of <laughs> oh, I'm I just have to take the turkey out of the oven. Ah, yay! Oh, oh you need any help, darling? Oh, my God. What am I going to do if I... Uh, everything was perfect and I, I ruined it. I, I, I ruined Christmas dinner. Stupid, stupid ass. What have we done? You ruined everything. <laughs> that really... Shit, lady, that hurt. Where is Mason? Anyway, he should be here by now. Well, usually cats just come and go as they please. <laughs> Try opening a tin. What? <laughs> well, is he all right? Yes, everything's fine. He'll just need a few more minutes, that's all. Let's continue with the game. Mm -hmm. Stuart, why don't you go next? Me? <laughs> really? Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but if everybody thinks I should, I will, but... Uh... Stop acting like you just won the X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> Truth or dare? Truth. Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Stuart. This is the first time anyone's asked him a question for over 50 years. <laughs> oh, I've got a good question. Tell us, Stuart, have you ever had sex with a woman? <laughs> <laughs> sex with a woman? <laughs> How could he have accomplished that? Hmm? A team of scientists working round the clock couldn't devise a pill strong enough to make that happen. <laughs> Can I change my go to dare? <laughs> no, you have to answer the question. What the hell are you stalling for, Stuart? The only woman you ever shared a bed with was your mother until you were 13. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer it for him. No. Yes. I have. I don't believe you. It's true. You're lying. No, he isn't. And how would you know? Because it was with me. <laughs> well, I guess Stuart was right. There was something new to learn about each other. New and revolting. It's like two stuffed teddy bears going at it. Doesn't even seem physiologically possible. Well, it was, believe me. <laughs> Well, I don't understand. How? Well, the brain sends signals which cause the blood... Vessel... Yes, I know how. I'm not talking to you anymore. Well, I don't see why you're getting so upset. It was ages ago. We were both young and attractive, and I was still confused about my sexuality. Confused? Your hips swished so much, I thought you were a samba dancer. <laughs> You and I had just met. Penelope was single, and it was only one night. Two nights. <laughs> Why is your memory so vivid all of a sudden? <laughs> anyway, let's continue with the game. There's nothing to be done about it now, anyway. I could even the score. You slept with Penelope, I should sleep with Violet. Oh, that is insane! I slept with Penelope 50 years ago, so you're going to sleep with Violet? Isn't that insanity, Violet? <laughs> Violet? <laughs> I'm warning you, Freddy. I can be very loud. <laughs> For God's sake, Violet, get down from there. Nobody wants to sleep with you. I was just making a point. I know that. I was making a point too. What was your point? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think there'd be a follow-up question. <laughs> All 
right, it's your turn now, Freddy. No, we're not still playing this game. Oh, yes, we are. You still haven't gone yet. Well, I don't want to play. Yeah, what are you going to? These are the rules you have to play. Fine. Truth or dare, Freddy? Dare. Dress up as Father Christmas and then have everyone sit on your lap. <laughs> What? <laughs> that was going to be my dare for Ash. I'll do it. Finally, I get to perform my Father Christmas for an adult audience instead of wasting it on those idiot five-year-olds. <laughs> oh, I must warn you, it's a very layered performance. <laughs> so you might not get everything right away. Oh, just shut up and put the whiskers on. <laughs> and then you all sit on my lap. Except you. <laughs> My husband died on Christmas Day, and it was more enjoyable than this. Ash, what are you doing? Ash? Oh, well, thank God I put everything back together, but then I noticed that Balthazar was missing. I, I think he ate some of the mince pies, and the sugar gave him this crazy burst of energy or something, because now he's gone! <laughs> How? Hey, what's going on in here? Please don't hit me. Well, it seems Balthazar ate some mince pies and ran off. Well, it's here the dinner. See? Well, he ran off, but he hasn't moved without his tiny wheelchair in two years. Where did he go? Do we know anybody who has a dog? Where is he? I don't know. He was moving very quickly. Oh, there he is. Ho, ho, ho. Mary! I knew I should have cooked. <laughs> well, sandwiches. <laughs> That's nice, Ash. I'm not at all upset. <laughs> How's the back doing? It's OK. I'm just glad I was able to break Freddy's fall. <laughs> yes. Have I thanked you for that? No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right, darling? Yeah, it only hurts when I move. <laughs> Poor thing. Here. It's OK. I'm a licensed massage therapist. Uh, that, oh, that actually feels great. <laughs> See? I can also be gentle. If you take your shirt off, I can really get in there. <laughs> oh, Balthazar's probably going to be sleeping for quite a few... Well, forever. <laughs> Are you all right, Freddy? Mm. I was just thinking how grateful I am that we're all here together today. Mm. We might have our differences, but we'll always be family. What a beautiful thing to say. And I truly meant it, Penelope. Even though you're a huge slag. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we all have each other. That's the important thing. You know, the reason sometimes I think I haven't met the right person yet is because I've been looking for my very own Freddy, or Stuart, my whole life. Oh, my. Please don't compare your filthy relationships with us. <laughs> I couldn't live without him. You won't need to. You'll definitely be one of those couples that will die one right after the other. I thought Mason was coming too today. Well, yes, he was supposed to. I've no idea what's happened. Stuart, mm -hmm. all those years ago when we... Did you know even then that you were... Oh, God, yes. I had to pretend you were Gregory Peck. <laughs> because I've always liked him. <laughs> oh. oh, let the machine answer. <clears throat> Hello, Freddy. 
Stuart, it's Mason. Are you there? Oh. Penelope was supposed to pick me up, but she never came by. Is everything all right? Wait. Are you all sitting there listening to this message? Oh, God, you are, aren't you? You're awful, awful people. Merry Christmas, assholes. <laughs> Oh, that was nice of him to call. <laughs> well, two new comedies come next week here on ITV. Birds of a Feather returns on Thursday at 8.30. Then Mick Garvey gets his collar and a lot more felt at the airport. It's a new series of Benidorm after that at 9.00. Next tonight, can Bridget finally set her life in a new direction? What do you think? Our film is Bridget Jones's Diary. 